Welcome back to Page Turner's Book Cafe. In today's episode, we're diving into the best-selling book Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. Ever wondered how to think like a millionaire? This book shares practical techniques and strategies that can change your mindset and guide you toward financial success. But before we jump in, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. We're one of YouTube's top channels for detailed book summaries. Let's get started by exploring a key concept from the book, your financial blueprint. According to Eka, if your financial blueprint is set for struggle rather than success, it doesn't matter how much you know, you'll find it difficult to break through. He learned this the hard way after facing multiple financial disasters. However, a life-changing conversation with a wealthy friend of his father revealed that rich people and poor people have fundamentally different ways of thinking. By understanding and replicating the mindset of the wealthy, Ecker was able to transform his life. Now, Ecker is a successful businessman and renowned wealth coach, teaching that winning the money game starts with mastering both the inner and outer battle. Your mindset is the toolbox, and knowledge is the tool. When you align the two, you're ready to succeed. This book is divided into two key sections. 1. Money Blueprint. This section delves into how our financial habits and beliefs shape our reality. 2. Wealth Files. Here, Ecker introduces 17 principles that can help reprogram your mindset for wealth. Understanding your money blueprint Ecker emphasizes that your financial situation is a direct reflection of your mindset. If you're not where you want to be financially, it's time to examine your beliefs, habits, and self-image. Your outer world is a result of your inner world. For example, if you constantly struggle with money, the root cause isn't the lack of money but your thinking patterns and habits around it. Ecker shares a personal story. He suffered from chronic back pain and visited a physiotherapist regularly. The treatments provided temporary relief, but the pain would return until he addressed his behavior, like improving posture, reducing stress, and taking better care of his body. The same principle applies to finances. Treating the symptoms won't lead to lasting change unless you address the underlying mindset. The process of manifestation according to Eka, thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to actions, and actions lead to results. This cycle is called the process of manifestation. Your thoughts are programmed from childhood by influences like your parents, teachers, and culture. These early experiences shape your financial blueprint, whether it's empowering or limiting. Ecker explains that we're conditioned in three primary ways. 1. Verbal programming. What did you hear about money growing up? Statements like, money doesn't grow on trees, or rich people are greedy, get ingrained in our subconscious. 2. Modeling. How did your parents handle money? Whether they were thrifty or constantly stressed, these behaviors influence how you relate to money as an adult. 3. Specific incidents. Traumatic experiences, like witnessing family conflicts over money, can leave lasting scars that shape your financial habits. Your money blueprint can either set you up for success or sabotage your efforts. The first step to changing it is awareness. Recognize the beliefs holding you back. Next is understanding their impact and deciding to disassociate from those limiting beliefs. Once you're aware, you have the power to reprogram your mindset. Wealth Files 17 Principles to Rewire Your Mind for Success The second part of the book introduces the 17 Wealth Files, specific ways in which rich people think differently from poor or middle-class people. Let's explore them. 1. Rich people take responsibility for their financial success, while poor people often blame external factors. Until you decide that you're the creator of your financial destiny, change is unlikely. 2. Rich people play the money game to win. Poor people play the money game to avoid losing. Poor people focus on survival, while rich people aim for abundance. If your goal is simply to get by, that's all you'll achieve. Aim higher, set your sights on wealth. 3. Rich people are committed to being rich. Poor people want to be rich. There's a difference between wanting something and being fully committed. Rich people are willing to do what it takes, even if it means sacrificing comfort and convenience. 4. Rich people think big, poor people think small. Your income is directly proportional to the value you bring to the marketplace. The more people you serve, the more money you can earn. Don't let fear or feelings of unworthiness limit your potential. 5. Rich people focus on opportunities. Poor people focus on obstacles. While poor people dwell on the risks and reasons something won't work, rich people focus on possibilities. Take action when opportunities arise, don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. 6. Rich people admire other rich and successful people. Poor people resent them. Instead of envying successful people, learn from them. If you respect and appreciate what others have achieved, you'll attract similar success into your life. 7. Rich people associate with positive, successful individuals. 
poor people associate with negative or unsuccessful ones. If you want to soar like an eagle, don't swim with the ducks. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. The people you spend the most time with influence your mindset and, ultimately, your success. 8. Rich people are excellent receivers. Poor people are poor receivers. To build wealth, you need to be open to receiving it. Many people struggle with this because they feel unworthy or have been conditioned to believe that wanting more is wrong. Shift your mindset to welcome abundance. 9. Rich people promote themselves and their values. Poor people don't. Rich people are willing to share their achievements, skills, and talents with others. They understand that self-promotion is necessary to succeed. On the other hand, poor people often believe in promoting themselves as boastful or arrogant. To attract wealth, you must be confident in the value you offer and let others know about it. 10. Rich people are bigger than their problems. Poor people are smaller than their problems. How you deal with problems is a key determinant of success. Rich people see challenges as opportunities to grow and improve, while poor people feel overwhelmed by them. By developing resilience and problem-solving skills, you can overcome obstacles that stand in the way of financial success. 11. Rich people are excellent money managers. Poor people mismanage their money. No matter how much money you make, managing it well is crucial. Rich people consistently allocate their income to savings, investments, and necessities. Poor people tend to spend impulsively without a plan. Developing a habit of budgeting and disciplined spending is essential for building and maintaining wealth. 12. Rich people have their money work for them. Poor people work hard for their money. Rich people understand the importance of passive income and investment. They focus on creating income streams that work for them even when they're not actively working. Poor people typically rely solely on earned income and often remain trapped in the cycle of exchanging time for money. 13. Rich people act despite fear. Poor people let fear stop them. Fear is natural, but the way you handle it makes all the difference. Rich people acknowledge their fears but take action anyway. Poor people allow fear to paralyze them, preventing them from taking risks or pursuing opportunities. Courage is key to moving forward and achieving financial success. 14. Rich people constantly learn and grow. Poor people think they already know. Lifelong learning is a common trait among wealthy individuals. They are always seeking new knowledge, improving their skills, and staying open to growth. Poor people often believe they know everything they need to know, which keeps them stuck in the same patterns. Embrace continuous learning to enhance your financial intelligence. 15. Rich people choose to get paid based on results. Poor people choose to get paid based on time. Rich people prefer performance-based pay, where their earnings are directly linked to the value they create. This could include commissions, profits from businesses, or returns on investments. Poor people tend to opt for fixed salaries or hourly wages, limiting their income potential. If you want to build wealth, find ways to get paid based on your results. 16. Rich people think, both, poor people think, either, or. Wealthy individuals adopt an abundance mindset, believing that it's possible to have both wealth and happiness, success and balance. Poor people often think they have to choose between one or the other. Expanding your mindset to believe that you can have multiple good things in life opens the door to greater opportunities. 17. Rich people focus on their net worth. Poor people focus on their working income. While poor people are concerned primarily with how much they earn, rich people focus on building their overall net worth, which includes savings, investments, assets, and business equity. Focusing solely on your income can keep you trapped in a cycle of consumption. To build lasting wealth, shift your attention to growing your net worth. These wealth files are key to reprogramming your financial mindset. By adopting these principles and integrating them into your life, you can align your thoughts and habits with the mindset of a millionaire. By applying these wealth files, you can start thinking and acting like a millionaire, setting yourself up for financial success. If you found this summary insightful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more detailed breakdowns of powerful books like this. And remember, your financial transformation starts with transforming your mindset. See you in the next video.